this song is awesome. Love the message, you guys. We live in such an awesome place. Such awesome people live here. This song is super cool. Totally stoked to be teaching it to you. Really easy, anybody can do it. Awesome, fun, fun song. So let's zoom in for a closer look and get to it. All right, so this is an awesome, easy beginning song. Really basic strum pattern. So let's get to it. So we're gonna have, we're gonna keep our C and G basically the same position, right? With our two fingers down here on the B and E third fret. Also remember there's a capo on the second fret. So anything behind the capo, obviously, one, two, three, right? Okay, and then we're gonna have our middle finger on the third fret, E, and our first finger on the A, second fret. Now to go to a C, which would basically be a C add nine, you just take these two fingers and you drop them down a set of strings. So now it's A and D, and you hit from the A string down. So the beginning, we're gonna do two counts of four for each chord. And we're just gonna do light palm muting, which is putting your palm where the strings are coming out of, right in front of that white little guy back here. Sorry, on screen, right here. Whoop. We're gonna put it palm right about there. You know, just that part of your skin, right here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the G, not of the C. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Right? This is the verse. Back and forth, back and forth, right? Now the chorus is gonna have very similar chords. We're gonna start with a G. We're gonna go to an, a D, right? So now it's gonna be your first fingers on the G string second fret. Your middle finger is going to be on the E string second fret. Your ring finger is on the third fret B, and you're gonna hit from the D string down. Then we're gonna to go to an E minor, which is gonna be, I use my first and second finger, A string, second fret, middle finger, second fret, A, D. And then we're gonna to go to a C chord, which is gonna be ring finger, third fret, A. Second finger is going to be on the D string, second fret. Your first finger, you're gonna skip a string down to the B string and be on the first fret, B. Now you hit from the A down. Make sure you stay right on those fingertips because you don't want to mute out any strings below, right? That G string and the E, you want to hear those, right? You can also play that, what we did in the beginning, that C add nine version. So we can go, which is a pretty easy shift, right? You're just flip flopping your fingers and tucking those guys in. So if that's easier for you, and then when you get right back to that G, then you can do it that way. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a strum pattern. I'm gonna go down, 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 up. One, two, three, down, up. And then I'm gonna switch to the next chord. chords in the chorus, it's going to go G, D, E minor, C, you're going to do it again, one more time. go back to the E minor and we're going to hang on it for two strum patterns. And then we're going to go to D and let it ring one, two, three, four. 
right? So let's play it in context. That is the verse and the chorus, really, really basic. Now there's one other part of the song and that's the bridge. Let's go over that part. All right, so the bridge part is gonna be two strum patterns. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the C, to the G, to the D, back to the C. Next time we get to the C, we're gonna do all downstrokes, eight of them. So here we go, two strum patterns. Then what we're gonna do is when we come out of that, we're gonna have some punches. So you're basically gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, per given chord that I give you. So it's gonna be. So you're gonna go G, D, E minor, this is just the chorus, C. We're gonna play it just a little bit different that first time through and then the rest of the chorus is gonna be normal. So we're gonna have Very cool song. That is the bare bones way to do it.